to accurately draw to scale two simple machines and calculate each, each uh, mechanical advantage. Um, we are doing something that hasn't been done before, so we're all kind of pioneers in this. We're going to be doing observational drawing, which is drawing what you observe or what you see. Why do you think we have artwork that looks like this? Why do you think we have drawings? What is the purpose of this type of a drawing? Once I had a chance to talk with the, uh, the artist and really see what, what they had to offer and, and their areas of expertise, I thought, well, you know what, Let, let's see if we can't make this work. Let's see if we can't uh, adapt this to more of a physical science uh, type of a thing. I know things had been done in biology, which has been which, you know, was wonderful, but can this work for physics? Can this work for chemistry? I'm going to start you and begin. I should hear pencils. Remember, this is about scribbling. Take the first 10 seconds to get this down onto your page. And then we have the circle on the inside. And you continue to break it down and break it down and then put more detail in there. That's what we're going to work the on The class today. I'm taking is Honor Science and um, it's for advanced ninth graders and I'm in the class uh, and I like it so far. Completely present when you do this. And then we had started a drawing class and um, when we started I felt a little overwhelmed because I was like oh goodness I cannot draw at all so this is going to be interesting oh, how my drawing looks like. But um, I learned a lot of stuff from it. Um, I learned how to draw a simple machine accurately, very accurately with the points and the edges. And I was actually pretty proud of myself when I turned my, my, my picture in. It was nice. It was nice. I was like, what? We're going to draw now? I thought it was a science class, but I was like, okay, I'll just stick with what the teacher wants to do. So then we was drawing, and then I learned some a lot of new things from drawing because, you know, I wasn't that good at drawing, but after, like, I did the drawing stuff, I started to get better. I noticed and everything. Plus, it helped me on my math and everything. Um, we are going to start some of your final drawings today. And Ms. Rasmussen has put out simple machines on the labs back there. Don't worry about measurements or accuracy with this. This is just a warm up. You have 20 seconds left. All right, you're all done. Great job. Those look really good. The proper size. Um the drawing helped me um, see it in a more complex way than it originally was when I, I first looked at some machines. I, when we first started the, um, the introduction for simple machines, I did not even know what a simple machine was. I did not know work had a formula or anything. I was like, okay, there's all this stuff and I didn't even know about it. So, but it's nice because it's, it did help me understand it more. Um, with levers and pulleys and wheel and axles and wedges and all those in machine and incline plane. It helped me a lot with the drawing and the measurements and how you, you could put it all together even though it's one of machine you could take it apart and put it all together again. So it, it helped me understand it a little bit more. Um, yeah, the levers and that's the fulcrum. What measurements do you need to have? To calculate the mechanical advantage, do you need? They have been so attentive to to watch, especially our artist Alyssa, to watch what she's doing and, and watch her explanations and and really uh, uh, take all of this to heart and really show this in their artwork. The attention to detail. They know they're going to have to draw it exactly to scale, showing everything, and that's part of our little standards here. They've got to learn how to do measurement, metric measurement, and. Um, 
Uh, they have to figure radius, they have to figure uh, diameter, certain things for a wheel and axle. They have to get it done. And I've just been so impressed with the level of work. So for example, if we were drawing this, you notice <coughs> that wedges and inclined planes... The drawing helped me um, to like think right, to like know what the machine does and everything. Because, you know, like the wedge and everything, it, it helps me understand like the can opener and all that stuff. It, it helps me like, you know, um, when we draw, we draw two pictures of at first, at first how it starts and, at, and when it ends and everything. It understands like the motion and everything. This is wrapping around a circle, isn't it? Does anybody know what number or what figure we use anytime we measure circles? Pi. Pi. Yeah, and that you'll need that to figure. And out. we didn't have the same simple machine all the time, so uh, I had quite several different simple machines that I looked at and I understood more Two, clearly. One. And for some reason, um, with the drawing and seeing other people's, other my classmates' perspectives of their view when they drew it, I was like, oh, it does look, kind of look like that. When you really look at it, it does look like that. So, the t so it does take time to fully understand it. And I'm still grasping a it a little bit more. And we have a test coming up on everything we just went over. And I feel really confident about that. So it, it did help. And just focus in on that part. I think I'll be able to use drawing later in some other classes, but one of the main classes I think will be math, because math and science are so alike in many different areas. And math, it, it, it's, comp it's challenging me too right now. Math and science are my main class that's really putting me you know, to the test. And I think that the drawing part will actually help me a little bit more with the math. Um, and when it comes to formulas and equations and stuff, I think it'll help me a lot. What's the formula for your mechanical advantage of, of wheel and axle? Oh, yes, you do. Okay. So copy this. Mm -hmm. That needs to be on there. Okay, and then your measurements. Your measurements, you've got to measure it so you'll have to know exactly, because you need to know the radius of your wheel. Okay, so you need to measure that and it needs to be exact, because those are the numbers you're going to plug in.